You've probably seen those YouTubers or bloggers who build setups with two monitors, and I always thought, why do they need a second monitor? You only play games on one monitor, don't you? But now I have two monitors on my desk, and I can confidently say how convenient they are. I've realized that it's something you must have. So these are the things you realize as soon as you start using dual monitors. Let's get into it. Number 1. You stop all tabbing. As soon as you buy a second monitor for your workplace, well, usually it's not exactly like that, most of the time you get a better new monitor and your old one becomes your secondary screen, but either way, once you have two screens, you realize how comfortable multitasking becomes. Remember how you worked with just one monitor, you constantly had to use the taskbar to switch between windows, or if you were a pro, you probably used alt plus tab, but still it's honestly annoying, not only uncomfortable, but also distracting especially on Windows, unless you are using a MacBook with macOS, which handles multitasking much better. That said, when you first switch to a dual monitor setup, it can feel a bit overwhelming. The extra space feels massive and takes some getting used to. But once you settle in, you stop alt tabbing and actually focus on your work. For example, if you're an editor, you can have your timeline on one screen and your files or preview on the second. If you're a coder, you can write code on the one screen and see real-time results results on the other. If you work remotely as a designer, you can keep your design tool on one screen and your references or communication tools on the second. Even for gaming, it's useful. You can run the game on one screen and keep Discord, Spotify or a voice call open on the second. It honestly feels like a blessing to use two monitors at once. The only annoying thing, if you're using two monitors with different specs, like mine, one is 2K, 180Hz, the other is 180p, 60Hz, when I drag windows between them, they resize or get blurry. It looks a bit ugly. It's not a big deal though, because I mostly use the second monitor for secondary tasks like browsing or dragging over materials. So that's what it is. Number 2. You start feeling like a hacker. As soon as you realize you have two monitors on your desk, you feel something deep. You start to feel like a hacker. And I'm not joking, those two monitors look so aesthetically pleasing that anyone seeing your setup would think the owner is a really busy and a productive person at first glance. Even if the owner can't even connect two sheets together. Yeah, it's me. Two monitors just look way better compared to a single one. Like seriously, when you see a setup with one monitor, it kind of gives off gamer vibes. But when you see a desk with two monitors, you instinctively feel the aura of someone who should be a hard worker, even if in reality they are lazy as hell. Me again. To understand how crazy this is, think about how every stereotypical hacker in movies uses dual monitors. I mean, even in my head, two monitors are associated with someone sitting in a dark room surrounded by green coat, whispering into a mic while tracking down some cyber criminal who hacked into a bank. Even though that sounds like a movie script, I think we all kind of agree. Having two monitors makes you feel like a hacker. I usually bring coffee to my desk, sit down in front of my setup, and then my family or guests pass by and ask if I'm hacking the Pentagon. Meanwhile, I'm literally just in Adobe Premiere Pro trying to stick two clips together on the timeline. Number 3. One becomes your chaos screen. As soon as you start using two monitors for work, not gaming, the second monitor's reputation takes a hit. If the first one is for you editing software, coding program, or Photoshop, then the second one becomes your space for files, ChatGPT, or a bunch of browser tabs. No matter what you're doing, you always keep your main monitor clean, while the second one becomes a mess. And it won't even matter. Personally, when I'm writing scripts, I keep Google Docs open on my main screen, and the second monitor is filled with browsers for research. When I record my voice, the first monitor is for the script, and the second one runs Adobe Edition. During editing, it's the same setup. Premiere Pro on the main screen, and the second monitor is used for dragging in materials. It's actually really helpful, even though some people don't see the point. But honestly, just try it once, you'll never want to go back to a single monitor. It's so convenient. Convenient. And even though the second monitor is used for secondary stuff, it doesn't mean you're being less productive. It just means you're keeping your main monitor focused and letting the second one handle the chaos. It feels like breathing room, a kind of freedom. Even copying things from one place to another becomes easier. Especially if you're a student doing presentations, 
For example, open your research on one screen and write everything down on the other. I literally used it to create test questions for university. I had a PDF open on one monitor with all the info and simply copied it into Google Forms on the main one. Even when gaming, if I get stuck in a level and I need a tip, I just open the walkthrough on the second monitor and follow along. It's insanely useful. Honestly, it might feel a little expensive just for that, but once you get used to it, it's hard to go back. Let's move on to the next realization. Number 4. Neck problems. It's not that deep of a realization and you'll probably get used to it. But as soon as you buy a new monitor and start using your old one as a second, you realize that constantly turning your head left and right becomes very painful for your neck. And yeah, it might sound like a joke, but no one really warns you about this. As a single monitor user, you probably never pay attention to how you sit. You just sit still, probably without much movement for two hours straight. When you're gaming, for example, it's hard to even notice how you're using your neck. It only tenses horizontally to keep your head straight, not up and down, just static. But when you start using two monitors, you'll get tired faster. You'll find yourself wanting to lie down more often. In my case, before I bought my main monitor, which is 2K, I was using a slightly smaller, full HD, 60Hz screen. At the time, I already had a monitor bracket. So now, I'm still using that second monitor on the bracket. And I'll be honest, I constantly move and experiment with the positioning to reduce neck pain. But even then, I always end up feeling it in my neck. I don't think there's an ideal, perfect position for a second screen. That's why, in my opinion, this is one of the small downsides of using a dual monitor setup. Number 5. How I ever survived with one. This realization comes after you've gotten used to the pain and all the side effects of using dual monitors. Once you reach the point where you can't imagine editing with only one monitor or coding without the second screen open, you start to understand how important it is. There's nothing more convenient than this when it comes to multitasking. To be honest, there was a time when I worked at a company in an office back when I wasn't earning from YouTube. I remember how much I struggled during that transition. On weekends, I used my personal dual monitors it up for my own projects. And on weekdays, I had to work with a 21-inch 60Hz TN panel monitor at the office. That contrast made me genuinely appreciate my own setup. I was so tired of flicking through windows, trying to multitask on a single screen. At some point, I just stopped and thought, how did I survive the early YouTube days with only one monitor? After hearing this, you might think I'm just complaining like a spoiled kid. But let's be honest, we are human. Once you get used to something good, it becomes really hard to go back. Of course, it's not impossible, but it does feel like a downgrade. So, is it worth it to buy a dual monitor? Honestly, if you're just a regular user who only plays games and doesn't do much else, then probably not. And if you're a student on a budget, you probably shouldn't spend your money on a second monitor either. That's totally fine. Even though I mentioned how helpful it can be for studying, it's probably not worth the cost. Better to invest in something more valuable for your situation. But if you're a remote worker, IT specialist, content creator, or freelancer, then buying a second monitor is a solid upgrade. You deserve to improve your workplace and make your work more productive and comfortable. I don't see a reason to hold back when it comes to investing in your own convenience. The upside of having a second monitor is simple. It gives you extra space for multitasking, lets you watch or reference things while you work, and bonus, it just looks cool. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, share your thoughts in the comments, and take care.